Welcome everyone. Today we're gonna be testing out uh, the first Descendant. Uh, it's a free game uh, released on Xbox, PS5, PC, pretty much everything. And among those releases is uh, a Steam Deck. Now, this game is technically unsupported on the Steam Deck, but that doesn't mean that the game doesn't run well. Like, actually, it's very playable. Uh, but we'll get to that in a second. So, uh, first up, we are going to uh, set everything to low and we're going to enable uh, FSR on performance. Now, uh, previously, this game did not work with FSR. Like, there would be a lot of uh, lags and uh, input issues and all of that stuff. But it was recently updated and now it works better than Intel XESS. So, we are now in-game. I am going to disable the frame limit that I had uh, on because I usually play this game capped to 40 FPS. It's just smoother. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to disable that and uh, just get started on the mission. Uh, I chose this mission in particular because I believe that there are quite a lot of enemies, which is going to give us a worst-case scenario, right? So we're going to be able to see how the game performs on a very demanding uh, area too much. So we got uh, four players, a lot of abilities, a lot of enemies, and a quite big map. So again, this is a uh, worst case scenario. So uh, I will leave you with some gameplay and I will see you in a second. So as we can see the game performs quite well, uh, we are very close to 40 FPS at all times. Uh, some uh, scenarios and some situations where the FPS drops slightly, but it's still very playable. But then this happens. So uh, this basically crashed the entire game and kicked me out of the session. I have to say that this only happened once. So, uh, it's not a huge issue, but keep in mind that if it happens to me, it can happen to you. And I've never experienced that on PC before. So, yeah, it's uh, probably something exclusive to the Steam Deck. So that was uh, low settings performance FSR. We are now going to change the options and disable FSR to see what sort of performance we can expect uh, on a native uh, scenario. So this is rendering the game at 800p, which is the Steam Deck resolution. And we are seeing, uh, obviously we are uh, losing FPS. Honestly, the quality is not that noticeable. Like FSR is just very good technology and honestly, we don't notice that much. And the amount of FPS that you're losing, uh, in this case around 10, it's like 20%. It makes the game much less playable and much less enjoyable. So uh, yeah, this is how the game looks on uh, low settings, no FSR. Again, sharper, but in my opinion not worth it, especially for a game such as this one that is uh, very high paced. I will leave you with some more gameplay on low settings no FSR and I will see you in a second. Unit 
They're reinforcing their defense. We need to eliminate them immediately. So, that was the game on low settings, no FSR. But, I want to make a pause here. First of all, sorry, I had to record this with my phone because my camera was not working for some reason. Um, after finishing the video, uh, this game got an update which fixed frame generation. So previously, it didn't work. So you would enable it and then everything would uh, not work correctly. Uh, you would get a horrible input lag and the FPS would uh, decrease. However, I found out on Reddit that if you disable manual clock, or rather enable uh, that si that thing that you're seeing on the screen right now where the FPS are like 30, goes away. So you enable the manual GPU clock and you can see how the FPS increase. So we are talking about very close to 60 fps with frame generation of course but still the game looks very very decent like the the way fsr handles frame generation is honestly very good and it just doubles your fps yes you get more input lag but i think it's worth it so i wanted to get that out of the way so let's continue with the video now all right now we're going to try medium settings no fsr i don't expect to get away with this uh, obviously not probably not going to work but i want to see how the game looks and uh, i want especially to see how the game looks on the oled screen because i've seen this game on the pc and i've seen it on the steam deck oled and honestly the difference that like how this game handles hdr the oled screen the colors it's very good i mean it shouldn't be such a huge difference with other games but still it is and anyone with a Steam Deck OLED knows that some games just look better. Uh, anyway, uh, game obviously doesn't run very well. We are very close to 20 FPS, which is definitely unplayable, especially for such a fast-paced game such as this one. Again, this is uh, a worst-case scenario. I've said that multiple times. So for most of the things that you're going to be doing, you're not going to get 20 FPS. You're probably going to get a little bit more, but still... Uh, I'd rather not play it in this uh, graphical setting, just because I wouldn't want to go around switching it every time you go into a, a bit of a more intensive uh, fight. Alright, so with all that said, uh, I will leave you with uh, some more gameplay, so you can see just uh, a little bit better how this game performs in this graphical setting, and see you in a second. Warp energy search confirmed. Looks like we'll be met with defensive forces.
Overall, uh, game is definitely recommended on the Steam Deck, even if it's unsupported, especially with the frame generation. Um, so yeah, I would uh, recommend that you give it a go. The game is free to play. Um, there are obviously some uh, aspects where they get your money, um, but it's mostly free to play. Like you can buy skins, you can buy characters, but you can't buy like uh, gear or weapons or other stuff. So it's still very balanced in that sense. So I'm really happy about that, and that's honestly the reason why I've been playing it so much. Uh, anyway, I really hope that you enjoyed the video. Um, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, everything, and see you again in the next one.